it's your old pal Larry back from Monster Movie App with my favorite time of the week, weekly horror movie finds, where I show all the fucking bullshit that I got out at thrift stores and flea markets and yard sales and shit wherever I went from the past weekend. Uh, this weekend was, this past weekend was good. Uh, we're doing the little uh, weekly horror movie finds and a little unboxing. So uh, let's do the unboxing first. It's kind of a long story, so strap on. I know what I said. So uh, I would say it was probably 2012-ish. I went to Horror Hound in Cincinnati. And uh, there was bands playing like Saturday nights. None of them I've ever heard of before. So, uh, you know, like we wandered in there just to check them out. And uh, there was a band called the Renfields playing and uh, was kind of blown away. Really fucking good. Uh, They really like captured the audience, usually at conventions, you know, like nobody gives a shit. Everybody's standing in the back like this. And uh, they really got the crowd into it. They threw out, there was like a fucking, they threw out pillows. There was a pillow fight in the crowd. It was pretty crazy. And the music was fucking good. So uh, I immediately after their after their set, I went over and uh, bought a CD from the lead singer Vincent Renfield, and uh, we talked for a little while. We exchanged pins, and uh, he was a really cool guy. So fast forward to the next day, I was kind of walking around. This was Sunday at the con. I was walking around and I was like, you know, I should have probably bought a fucking t-shirt too. I really like those guys. And, uh, you know, it's probably my only opportunity to get a t-shirt. So I went to their booth and they were fucking gone. It was like later in the afternoon. The booth was gone. Uh, No t-shirt. And I was like, fuck, I missed my window. So kind of over the years, you know, like I wouldn't say I was like super persistent But every once in a while, I would go on their website or their Facebook page and see if they had like a web store with T-shirts for sale. Hey, Dan. And they never uh, I never caught them with T-shirts for sale ever. Uh, I think they just didn't have any or something. So uh, I messaged the uh, their Facebook page, the Renfield's Facebook page and said, hey, do you guys have merchandise? Uh, I'd like to get a T-shirt or something. And uh they never responded. They did. They didn't want to talk to me. So, you know, I gave up years later. <laughs> recently, I, I don't even know when it was a couple months ago, maybe uh, they made an announcement saying that their merch store was active. They had some t- leftover T-shirts and they were ready to roll. So uh, I scrambled right on over, ordered a T-shirt and uh, and waited. I I ordered the t-shirt, you know, maybe like, I don't know. It was like maybe three weeks before I was going to Mad Monster Party. I wanted to get it, rep the band at the the, the show, you know. Like, I like to rep my bands that I enjoy at, uh, at conventions. Sometimes people will ask about them and I will tell them, you know, it's, it's cool. It's a nice thing to do. And you're not wearing the same fucking Freddy, uh, Freddy Krueger shirt that every other fucking asshole is wearing. So uh, I waited and waited and waited weeks and weeks and weeks. And then it was like over a month. And uh, I was like, I don't think I'm going to get this t-shirt. Pretty sure they didn't send it. I went to the PayPal dispute department and opened a case and said, hey, you know, uh, what's the status on this t-shirt? Maybe a week or so went by, <laughs> didn't hear anything. And uh, I was just like, you know what, PayPal? Just give me my money back. You know, like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe they don't have t-shirts, whatever. Uh, you know, I just want a refund. No harm, no foul. It wasn't in the stars for me to ever have a Renfields t-shirt, I guess. So uh, I uh, I got a refund Vincent Renfield uh, sent like an apologetic email to me saying like uh, there was a snafu. He wasn't getting announcements through PayPal. He didn't know the sale happened. Here's your money back. Sorry, man. You know, and I was like, okay, that's cool. 
So uh, then I got my 20 bucks back. And uh, I sat for a couple of weeks with my 20, thinking, you know, I would still really like to get a fucking Renfield shirt. So maybe since I was friends, fr Facebook friends with Vincent Renfield, that uh, I would just uh, message him and say, because he said, like, you know, next time, just message me on Facebook. So I was like, okay, so he's not like a stuck up prick who's not going to respond to my message. Maybe this time. I don't know. He said I could. He gave me the green light. So I messaged him and said, like, hey, man, still very much in the market for a Renfields T-shirt. Um, this is fucking Larry from case number fucking XYZ257 or whatever. Just being funny, you know. <laughs> PayPal dispute case number. Uh, I went by that. And uh, he was cool. He was like, yeah, I'll send you an invoice. Uh, what do you want? I said two t-shirts, two of their different styles and a large. Uh, he was like, okay, uh, I'll check and get back to you. A couple days went by. He messaged me back and said, okay, I have the two larges. I'll send you, uh, uh, remind me next week because it's Easter. It was Easter Sunday. He said, uh, remind me next week, I'll send you an invoice. So uh, I waited till like next fucking sometime that following week. Send him an invo uh, an, a message saying, invoice me, bitch. I was being nice. Usually I would swear. And, uh, and then maybe like, <laughs> I don't know, like maybe two, two, two weeks went by and he never messaged me back. And I'm just like, you know, is this, am I, should I take this fucking personally? <laughs> I'm trying real, I, I have a fucking bad temper usually. Uh, despite my cheery personality on here, I know that's hard to believe. Um, but like, you know, I was like, I'm trying not to take it personally. I know the dude's got like a couple bands and he's busy. They were like putting out an album maybe, or, you know, they were definitely putting out an album. So I was like, uh, you know, like I'm really not trying to take this, trying not to take this personally. Cause I hold a grudge really bad. And, uh, you know, like. I just, I will just fucking be like, hey, fuck you and your fucking band. Go eat my cock. I'm fucking burning your CD and never fucking supporting you again. Uh, that has happened when people are fucking dicks. But he didn't seem like a dick. I just think he was super busy. So if I, I fucking ended up messaging him back. And I was like, hey, maybe you could just, I was going to go see one of his shows in uh, June. So I was like, maybe uh, you could just bring the shirts with you. I don't think online sales is your fucking gig. Maybe face to face. And he wrote back and he was like, you know, man, I love you. Um, what's your email address? And we did that exchange. And uh, I finally got stuff like yesterday. So uh, it was cool. Let me show you. He's an upright fucking dude. And uh, this is the first shirt. This is one that uh, I ordered. I forget what this is called. They, there's a name for the design, but uh, I love this fucking design. Really fucking badass. It's like a little pentagram stabbed into a fucking jack-o'-lantern. So that's one that I ordered. Where do I put these? This is the other one I ordered, a little Misfits riff. Uh, love that. Love the misfits. Love the fucking design. And uh, really wanted that. And on top of that, as I guess an apology for these, all the snafooages, uh, he sent me a bonus t-shirt, which is this one. And I was looking at this one anyway, because I, you know, like I'm an HP Lovecraft fan and it's fucking cool artwork and shit. And on top of that, he sent me a fucking CD. So fucking awesome, you know, like the dude uh, recognized my struggle and uh, the difficulties that I had. And he was like, I'm going to hook I'm going to hook this motherfucker up with some bonus shit. Like, that's what I would do. You know, I would just be like, here, have a bunch of fucking more stuff if because I'm sorry. And uh, so that's my that's my uh, my unboxing, if you will. It was already unboxed, but uh, 
thank you to the Renfields and Vincent Renfield for being an upright dude. Love you long time. I I think I owe him like a fucking blowjob or something. I, I think that's what happened. Uh, these I, the t-shirt and cd may be for sex we've had a we had a discussion uh, on the instant messenger and like i think i might owe him some shit so i'm gonna hide at the june show and fucking when i go to that all right on with uh weekly horror movie finds because we want to make this super super long hello mother welcome aboard uh i got some uh Oh, I got this on autofocus. Shh, get ready, guys. The <laughs> camera's on autofocus. Uh, you know, these are like 50 cents, and uh, they're little solar lights, stakes that you fucking jab into your fucking yard. And, uh, you know, I, don't, I haven't even tested them yet. But, uh, you know, something to freak the neighbors out. Leave these out all year round, like in front of your fucking house. And uh, people will think you're fucking weird. And they would be right. I'm fucking weird. Weird as shit. Uh, now, I went to one thrift store. And uh, they had, like, in their display treasure island fucking display cabinet. Excuse me. Uh... Um, they had, like, this, you know, like a flat box that you put your trading cards in, like, the big cardboard boxes with the multi rows. Um, and like, I could see they had like it all taped up, like over the top of the box, over the top of the rows that were full of cards. They taped it with shipping tape, like clear shipping tape. It was completely encased in shipping tape. And uh, I was like, I mean, that's one, that's just one thing, fucking nightmare. I could see some cards sticking to it. But, um, I could see, like, there was, like, I could see sports cards in there, like, some in one row. But then uh, I saw, like, uh, do I have anything out here? I saw, like, uh, on top of the sports cards, I saw a uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind sticker that was, like, facing me. And I'm like, these aren't just all fucking baseball cards. It was this motherfucker right here. That was on top of one of the rows. And I was like, I wonder what else is in there. So they wanted five bucks, and, you know, hundreds of cards. I'm thinking, you know, five bucks. I can probably sell off the fucking all the sports cards and all the other bullshit and just keep the fucking cool stuff. So uh, that I was just going on that one sticker. Well, it turns out, like, inside there, there was a fucking bunch of bullshit, man. Like, from, like, a, it looked like a full set of, like, Grease, the movie cards, and fucking, like, I don't even remember. Some weird shit. But also some good stuff, too. Like, uh, this little stack of V, the miniseries. Uh, there's a little stack of those in there, all in really good shape. Uh, I don't think these are stickers. A lot of stickers. The dude collected stickers. But, uh, yeah, V, the miniseries. If you don't know, you know, fucking go to, go to IMDB for the youngsters. And fucking, I'm not going to explain to you what that is, you little fucking pricks. Uh, so, yeah, big stack of, uh, well, you know, a stack of uh, Close Encounter of the Third Kind stickers i think these are all stickers of different kinds tons of dupes there's that little prick there waving at the fucking aliens um so you got those we got v we got close encounters of the third kind pay attention there's gonna be a fucking quiz uh mini stack of jaws two cards which is awesome you know, little little Jaws two. You know, you know what I'm saying. You know, there's a fucking Schneider there and the fucking cable and all that noise. And I guess yeah, definitely the coolest would be um, a little stackage of uh, alien stickers. Yeah. <laughs> Like, a lot of these stickers are, like, 78, 79. Like, I mean, these are in really good shape. 
you know, I'm older than, I'm falling apart. People in, fucking born in 79, you're fucking falling apart. These were like in the fucking, in that box their entire lives. There's a fucking xenomorph. Let's see, it's not going to focus. I will kill you, camera. There's a uh, little xenomorph. Anyway, so like, that's it. Those were all, oh no, there was this. The original monster in my pocket. Tradable trading cards from 7-Eleven, fun pack. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe Dan knows. Wasn't monsters, monster in my pocket? Weren't those like little fucking figures or something? I don't know. Oh no, these are it. You got like the Hydra card here. It's all like uh, kind of cool, cool artwork of monsters. Duh. Oh, you fucking whore. Look at this. There you go. Do you know what autofocus is? Do you know what that means? The Great Beast. We got an ogre. Not focus that time. It likes to be threatened in a griffin. So, uh, yeah, 7-Eleven exclusive cards here. All in really good shape. I'm not really sure what monster in my pocket was. Probably, probably after my time. Um, here you go. Little VHS collection going on. Uh, Dan says little monster figures kind of like muscle figures. Oh, okay. You know what? I fucking have some of those. <laughs> they were like a... Kind of like a pale orange color, right? I think I have a few of those. Didn't even, didn't even know. So, uh, yeah, Larry, what are you doing? This is, like, super gay. And it's a fucking cut box. But this is, like, Earl's Video Club. They're fucking... The way that they displayed their movies at this video store. I have a few of them. Uh, my thinking for, like, 25, 50 cents, whatever I paid for this uh prime for like you know you get you get a cool tape with a shitty box or something uh you can just fucking you can just kind of fucking hack it up or if you have an extra box hack it up and make yourself a little uh a little nostalgic earl's video club video there you go nice i went to a place that had a zillion vhs and fucking, like, this is literally the only horror movie. Uh, it's a really nice copy of Willard. But, um, you know, I ha I just got this. If some of you remember the, uh, the infamous Craigslist VHS score of, like, 700 tapes that I had recently, uh, I, got, I got a really nice copy of Willard in that. So now I have two of them and a cut box somewhere. And, uh, you know, two of those have to go. Now, the best score of the weekend. Of, I can't do that. I'll fuck the camera up. Uh, about to fucking just call it a day. Go home. Uh, and there was a thrift store that we've kind of been to a couple times and had good luck with. And I don't know why I didn't have it mapped out uh, where we went. But I kind of forgot about it. It's mapped now. But it wasn't then. And uh, I, they had a sh always have a shitload of fucking VHS. Um, no, sorry, n fucking hardly any VHS. A shitload of fucking Blu-rays and DVDs, and they're all they've all been in like really great shape, and only a dollar each. Yeah, I know. Kevin Bacon Stir of Echoes. It's a pretty good movie, but uh, for a dollar on Blu-ray, uh, you know, I grabbed it. Uh, Mom likes it a lot. So, you know, there's that. Little Mystery Science Theater on, on DVD. I specifically grabbed this for uh, the Christmas time because it's got, it's got their version of uh, that blurry movie. If this focused at all, it would say Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Um, so, like, this kind of, this is going in, like, the Christmas box. Kind of a cool Christmas movie to watch. Uh, I have this on multiple VHS, but not blue or not DVD. I love the MGM DVD releases. I have fucking shitloads of those, like the the Midnight Movies. Those are fucking cool releases. Um, but yeah, 
This movie fucking made me wet the bed <laughs> for years after. Anytime there was a thunderstorm and like I woke up to fucking thunder, like a clap of fucking thunder or lightning or whatever, uh, I would piss the bed because I thought it was in fucking nuclear war and fucking Reagan was finally fucking us. Reagan and fucking Chekhov. What was that dude's name? Chernobyl? No. I don't know. Hey, Todd! Todd says I'm late. Yeah, you are, motherfucker. What's, what do you got to do? Life? I, this is one of the first things I found. Fucking Fulci's Manhattan Baby, which I do not own. I don't think I own it on anything. And uh, this was a fucking buck. The Anchor Bay release. Still has the fucking insert in there. I've never seen this movie, so like, I I'm still erect. Like, I'm still fucking half a pack of roll -Aids hard as hell. The find of the weekend. I, so I thought. Fucking UK release of Silent Madness. 1984 slasher movie that I've also never seen. Uh, I was like, I always find something weird at this thrift, thrift store. And like, this was a buck. And, uh, like, you know, I found this in Manhattan Baby and, like, just, you know, full chubby still. And then I got online and I read about, I read about how fucking harshly cut <laughs> the fucking UK release of this is. I think it's, like, the runtime is, um, on IMDb is 93 minutes and this is 85 so uh, we're missing like eight minutes of fucking, the fucking shit tits and fucking clam, side carpet, full frontal, all that shit. Dan says Gorbachev. Thank you, thank you. I knew it wasn't fucking Chernobyl, but I what you know, I'm pretty sure. My fucking my history. Yeah, that prick and fucking Bush like. Making little Larry piss the fucking bed. Not really. I mean, never piss the bed that I can recall. Now, there's been some sharding fucking for sure. But, you know, always just like, you know, like Schmidt's beer fucking related stuff. You know, not not just walking around shit in your pants. Like the day after laying on the couch, watching movies, sipping fucking Gatorade. And like a powerful fart comes on and like there there's more there's more to, to, to the delivery than just the, the gas. You know what I'm saying? Dan, Dan drinks hams beer, so he definitely shits his pants. <laughs> he probably that's probably a weekly thing. <laughs> hams beer. So uh yeah. Okay, well hey, that's it everybody. That's all I found. Uh going out another fucking good distance tomorrow. Hit another area that I haven't been back to in a while. And uh, fucking fingers crossed. Thanks for stopping by Dan, Todd, Mom. Dan and Todd and Mom. And uh, everybody else, go fuck yourself for not stopping by. Until I see you again, have a good weekend. And get the fuck out of my house. Bye.